and today is my favorite marathon session. I love this session. It's a Canova inspired session and it seems to bring on loads of fitness. It's hard but it's enjoyable. I've had good and bad experiences with it and I'm looking forward to giving it another go today. Yes, it will be very enjoyable. As long as there's no back <laughs> Um <laughs> Kelly has mixed feelings about this session. The last time she came out on the bike and did it with me, I blew up massively, uh, stopped at a blackberry bush and was eating blackberries, and then still had five miles to get back to the car and had to jog slowly back to the car. It was a, it was a nightmare. But I've learned from my mistakes, hopefully. Uh, so the session is, it's kilometer on, kilometer off, which I like to call alternations. And you alternate the pace, faster the marathon pace, slower the marathon pace. And what you want is the average of the whole pace, the whole session, to be your goal marathon pace. So the faster sections I'll be doing today at about half marathon pace, which is about 5.10 per mile, or 3.13 per kilometer. And then I will float, or do the recovery kilometers, at about 5.43 to 5.50 per mile, which is about 3.33 to 3.35 per kilometer. It's a tough one. Um, what I actually find is the floats end up being harder. To hold on to the pace on the floats uh, becomes difficult because you've just run so fast in the ons. I'm going to do 21 kilometers of it, so a half marathon, and hopefully average about 5.30 per mile. Um, have I got anything else to say? Kelly's falling asleep. <laughs> No, we're no, you haven't got anything else to say. You're just going to go and do it now. Big warm up. Canova refers to this as specific intensive session. Uh, so it's marathon specific and it's intensive because there's those bits that are faster than marathon pace. Um, let me just check if I've got anything else to say in my notes. Are you fueling for this? No, no. I'm not. I'm not fueling. No. Twenty miles, no fuel. <laughs> <laughs> So ideally in this session, uh, you'll get a buildup of lactate in the faster bits and then you'll clear those waste products in the recovery bits. It's tough though because you really are doing those recoveries at an honest pace. Um, and like I said before, I've had the session go really well and not so well, but if you can nail it, an average marathon pace goal, um, and you've done all the other long runs, etc., then you're looking really good for that marathon. So hopefully today will go well and it'll give me a boost of confidence and it's my favorite session, I enjoy doing it. Uh, better get warmed up and uh, start. I should say I'm actually just gonna go straight in with uh, 5K warm up, uh, straight into the session and then the cool down. So the actual volume of the whole run is, uh, is pretty large. Depending how much cool down I do, it'll be between 18 to 20 miles. But Kelly has kindly said she'll come out on the bike and um can support we, can me we, can we can we no can we stop there um i didn't kindly offer my services on the bike today i've been roped into this unwillingly this week because i'm tired just yeah i thought she wanted to do the session <laughs> yeah. apparently this is unwilling if she sends a signal during the session saying save me, then she probably means it. I might, I might just come back to the car halfway through, just get a bit of footage and come back. Have a nap. <laughs> right, so Kelly will be napping. I'll be out there doing my 18 to 20 miles. So I've just realized I've only got 14% battery and I haven't charged my watch. Will I get through about two hours of running on 14%? I have no idea. Oh, this is not ideal. What do I do? I don't, you could wear, you could wear mine. I've got, I hate to brag, I've got 65%. <laughs> do I wear yours? Oh, you could do. It doesn't matter if the battery runs out on me, but it will matter for you and your session. Oh, I have to set up a stride pod and everything. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Oh, let's chance it, and you put it on your watch as well, and go from there, is it? Yeah. Okay. He's going to do, if I, if I can do a long run on 14% and I'm out there in the wild for a, a million hours, I'm sure you, you can do a session. 
Sometimes Matthew likes to get a little bit dramatic about things. Because originally, just now, when he told me, he said he had 10%. Yeah, but 4% extra is... A like... lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot for Garmin. He'll be fine. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to warm up in the jacket. It's cold. <laughs> this is not the usual feel that we have before a session. <laughs> this isn't our usual positive mojo. Oh, it is. We're going to rock and roll. We're going to rock and roll. I'm rolling on the bike. <laughs> Cruising. <laughs> and we're off. Calm down. So these vapor flies, oh, they're old now, aren't they? So I wore these in Frankfurt in 2019. Retro. Oh my god. <laughs> they're still going though. How many miles do you think you've done in them? Oh, shed loads. Yeah, like 300, 350, 400, I don't know. Do you not uh, keep your shoes updated on Strava anymore? No, not really. Oh dear. But they're still bouncy, they're still bouncing along. Bouncing like, along, bouncing along. Plate feels good. Cushioning's all right, still light. Not that they would get heavy, it's not like they put on weight, it's like, oh. Locked out weight, is it? <laughs> let myself go, didn't I? <laughs> Did a few runs and let myself go. You didn't fancy catching me up? Yeah, I, I did. Once I sorted the technical errors, it doesn't bode well. I don't. <laughs> you took a shortcut. Yeah. Listen, do you want me to film me or not? I thought you were going to put some big watts in to catch me up. Yeah, I started, then I got tired. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying about your pace? Uh, that's old news now. Ah. What I said was. This feels like how 5.45 per mile felt on Sunday, Saturday. And a 6.40 base. <laughs> but it's well. Also, you won't be able to hear any of this because it's really windy. Yeah, it's really windy. It's windier than any other time I've been down here. You know, that one time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's windier than the half marathon time trial. A lot windier than Saturday. 24 miler. But it's work. It's all that matters. Bank the work, bank the training effect, recover. Sounded like a true professional then, didn't it? Nearly finished my warm up, but my right foot is tight underneath on the planter. Um, so I haven't decided if I'm doing the session yet. I'm going to start it, I think. What I'm going to do first is apply some pressure to it and try and release some of that tension. Um, this isn't uncommon. It's normally my calves, which I'm like digging my thumbs into during a warm up and then get the session done. Now we see if we can do the session. How did your foot feel now? Can't feel it now. Good. It might come back, but I can't feel it now. So it's new type of start. Come to roll in, roll in. Yeah. Have we started? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were going a bit faster. <laughs> also, my watch has flashed up 10% left. 
We've used 4% in 20 minutes. That's because you had a big pause for a massage. You should have stopped. Yeah, but that's not promising, is it? Never mind about your watch. Oh, well, now I've gone too fast. Calm down, Deirdre, come on. Although Reese. there will be massive variation in pace due to the wind. So everything I said in the car about pace is, it'll be done more to effort with pace as a guide, also looking at power. A bit quick for the first one, 309, about 507 pace per mile. Now it's trying to not do this too quick or too slow. So this was a tough one to gauge now in the recovery. Touch too slow, but into the wind, so right effort. 315 and a K. It is wild to have happened to this wind. I just got mugged off by somebody in their garden <laughs> that wasn't keeping up on the bike. So around here, I'd like to take you out. Yeah, I know. <laughs> nice break from the wind, then. Luigi and Mario. Here we go. <laughs> Three twelve. Spot on. Three down. Rep four. Big bangs. Is that a grenade? Yeah, I think so. Two of them. It sounded like they were buried in earth. <laughs> yeah. A muffled grenade. Yeah. It's like the grenades you drop under the duvet. Yay! Yay. Four done. They're coming for you. Right, this is how you should swipe your right. Shot fired! Shot fired! Probably can't see that too loud around here. <laughs> So Matt is five reps down, just about to go into his sixth rep of a K on. Um, but we've got a bit of an issue with the watch. 
We joked around at the beginning, but it doesn't look like Matt's watch is going to last. So now we're in a bit of a quandary whether we lap mine, um, but I am in bike mode in miles, or whether to try and stop it, start a run on mine after changing it into K's, uh, in which time Matt will probably have lost a bit of his run anyway. Oh, there we go, six hours on. He's looking good, so hopefully the watch will just hang on just a bit longer uh, so it doesn't balls everything up. But if not, we can stop. Probably starting a run on my watch would be better because you'll need to know the UKs, right? We'll make it work. Down, how are you feeling? It's time to get a tough lap. You can dig in on the hard bit. It's just trying to make those recoveries as honest as you can. to uh, bronze, silver and gold. I missed that one. Wind was just too much for me. 314. We're in the 10th rep. 10th K on. Looking good. I hope it's 10. Wind changed. Yeah, you know, going into the wind. <coughs> Cheeky monkey. But I bet I don't have a tail when I turn. Last recovery. There we go, do a tailwind. <laughs> Wrapping it up, putting a little bow on it and offering it to the Marathon Training Bank. Whew, flying. Can to be sick a little bit? I shouldn't have sprinted that last bit. Discipline. You can tell when I do a bit of sprinting and the fact I'm doing no VO2 max work in my training because any little sprint and I feel sick. But my threshold, but my threshold and my marathon pace and all my aerobic abilities are really, really strong right now. That was an absolutely fantastic session. I've never felt so strong so late on in that session. And yet, this is probably the toughest conditions I've done the session in. Really quite windy. I just kept telling myself, it might be windy on race day. Just stick with it, stick to the plan, work hard, alternate the pace, alternate the feel, and get it done. And, oh, I can't wait to look at the splits. You know I'm a data geek, but oh, that was magic. 
That was really, really, really strong. <sighs> a lot of confidence for the last few runs. Um, I need to ease off a bit now, soak up some of this training. But I'm getting there, I'm getting there. It's a short marathon block, but I could do something special at Wrexham and I'm really excited. Wait for it, 26K, 5.37 per mile, including the warm up. View to max, that's wrong again. Wait for it. Okay, 72 hours recovery, fair enough. Here it comes, maintaining, maintaining. Well, at least it's not unproductive, but that's not maintaining, is it? That's a big session. Come on, Garmin. Come on, Garmin, give me a break here. Oh, unbelievable. Nailed it, didn't he? The hero on the bike here, filming with two cameras, the GoPro, the phone, whilst taking calls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> while, <laughs> whilst changing the battery in the GoPro, whilst taking on glucose tablets and checking their insulin levels. Uh, whilst giving me encouragement. Wow, I think I don't think I'll be able to get my helmet off. My head's swollen so much. <laughs> Who says women can't multitask? Oh, new series coming soon. PA on a bike. <laughs> twenty miles. Let's do twenty miles. The shuffle. So I've stiffened up a bit. <laughs> a bit. <laughs> Sorry, I can't go. Yeah, do you want to go a bit quicker yeah, and catch no, up? I, I can't keep up with you. So I've stiffened up. So I don't think I'm going to do 5k cool down. The work is banked. But I will do a couple of k to try and loosen up a bit. But um, basically, I can't run anymore. <laughs> We're going to do 20 miles. <laughs> <laughs> and Kelly's teasing me because I said I was going to top it up to 20 miles and now it looks like I'm only going to hit like 16. Big run today, big run, big big warm up, big cool down. Yeah, going to do 20 miles. No, look at him. Come on, Luigi. You're like Mario. You're like <laughs> Bowser. Firstly, I've got a better tash than Mario. So, secondly, I like my padding. Bowser! You're like Bowser taking these corners. <laughs> all over the place. Barging into me. Yeah. Come on, keep up. Come on. You could do it. You look so strong. <laughs> Keep your horny shell back away from me, Bowser. Horny shell back. Don't disclose all of my secrets. <laughs> just... Look, banana peels dropping from your butt. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Matt took a shit over there, right underneath the bridge. Viewed by a workman and a best of grannies. Are you disclosing my secrets? <laughs> no, not a full loop. Huh. You're all day. Yeah. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with this pacer in the loop? I feel like you're um, losing the enthusiasm, so that's why I'm going to cut the cool down short. Mm -hmm. I'm worried about you. You okay, hun? <laughs> Because he feels poppies and 5k. Pop, 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 is it? I told you I'd knock out 5k cooldown. Feeling alright now. The stiffness is gone. You were just telling me you were a 33 year old with a dodgy hip. No, I'm just saying if I wanted to join the army, they'd say, they'd tell me to bugger off basically. Because you're a 33 year old with a dodgy <laughs> hip. And then you said everybody over 30 has got dodgy hips. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. <laughs> <laughs>